the next several minutes, we'll show how to perform a coupled electromagnetic to computational fluid dynamics simulation using ANSYS Maxwell and ANSYS Fluent. This analysis allows full electrothermal simulation of electric machines. We begin with the Maxwell 2D transient simulation of an interior permanent magnet motor. Here you see a sector of that motor's 2D cross-section. We will establish the electrothermal coupling in ANSYS Workbench, which facilitates seamless data transfer between the electromagnetic solver and the CFD solver. Workbench also supports bi-directional CAD integration with popular tools. Multiphysics is fully supported for system-wide optimization. In Workbench, go to File, Import, and select the Maxwell project to make it an active component. Double-click the Solution option to open the Maxwell project. Here you see the design of an interior permanent magnet machine. Due to the 2D symmetry, we assume uniform power loss distribution along the axial direction. By simulating just a sector of the cross-section, Maxwell can reduce the computation time and explore a full parametric design space. The calculated 2D loss is mapped into a 3D CFD environment. Permanent magnets are sensitive to temperature. Their magnetic characteristics weaken due to externally applied field and temperature load. Maxwell has the capability to accurately predict the temperature-dependent magnetic characteristics to account for the field and thermal load. The permanent magnet's characteristics can be linear or nonlinear. In this case, the magnetic characteristic of the permanent magnet is nonlinear. While assigning the materials, we can define the temperature coefficients that will alter the magnetic characteristics with the feedback received from the CFD solution based on the equation shown here. Usually a linear dependency exists between temperature and the magnetic coercivity and remnancy. Let's review the boundary conditions. Maxwell's master-slave boundary conditions help to minimize the design space based on electromagnetic and geometrical symmetries. The magnetic field distribution is assumed to be confined within the machine only and there is no flux coming out of the machine. Maxwell handles the winding topology where the coils are grouped based on a three-phase imposed current, voltage, or external circuit excitation. Here we assign a current source to avoid electromagnetic transients to get a faster steady state transient solution to generate losses for the computational fluid dynamics. In the solve setup, we define the end time and the time step. These time steps can also be parameterized. You can account for sudden change in excitation if you have switching to enforce accurate electromagnetic response based on a specific driving condition. The time step can be speed, position, or time dependent. Save fields to create a fully animated field distribution to analyze the fields in each time step and perform various post-processing field calculations. Here we begin to analyze the design. While the Maxwell simulation is running, we will bring up the meshed 3D CFD geometry to the forefront. To instantiate the ANSYS Fluent component, right-click the setup to open the ready-to-solve geometry. The Fluent geometry appears. We can define the CFD project here. Zoom in to see the granularity of the mesh that will be used for a 3D simulation. Since in CFD we need the details of the end winding configuration, the core of the winding, including liner and insulation layers, touches the ferromagnetic material which acts as a metallic thermal conductor. The winding transfers the temperature gradient into the ferromagnetic material easier and faster by conduction. The end windings are in open air. They transfer the heat by convection. The parameters of conduction and convection are dependent on the cooling system. The holes in the back iron can be used to enforce liquid cooling. Later, the CFD environment provides you the capability to establish a multi-flow conditions on these holes. Maxwell 2D simulation is very fast and is now complete. We now exploit Maxwell's post-processing capabilities by using the field calculator to compute the losses and further validate the accuracy of the loss mapping into 3D CFD. To do this, we calculate the generated stator loss. 
We input a scalar for the axial length here. This defined expression becomes available for the overall post processor. The finite element solution is complete. We save fields, then go to the post processor to create the stator and rotor loss based on the fields calculator expression. Here you see the variation of the stator loss during the transient simulation. We can compute the average from the trace characteristics over a full or specified range. This value will be compared with the value mapped into the CFD solver. In Workbench, just drag and drop the Maxwell component solution into the setup of the Fluent component. This link generates the data transfer between 2D and 3D simulation, mapping the losses accordingly. Here you see the volumetric energy source, the input load from Maxwell. You can select all the components to generate losses during electromagnetic simulation. You can pick all of them because you get zero for those components that are not part of the Maxwell project. Six components are chosen here. We analyze the power loss profile and average this profile and transfer the data. If you add the values of the power loss for the CFD objects related to the stator geometry, you will see that this value is the same as in the Maxwell simulation. Completely independent of Maxwell, the mapping technology maps the scalar quantities into this new mesh topology. The results in Fluent show the mapping results and not the solution. In addition to the data transfer from Maxwell, more excitations can be assigned in CFD. For example, we consider the winding. It's easy to manually add other excitations into the fluent environment. We now show how a steady state CFD problem is analyzed. We will use only five iterations. See the iterations build up during the simulation process. The thermal energy versus iterations converge as you see in the plot. Finally, we see the temperature profile. Here the temperature distribution for a given electromagnetic input across different objects is shown. Temperature is higher at the end winding and within the core the temperature is lower. When this temperature distribution is passed back to Maxwell, all conductive materials are changed based on local temperature. This will affect the magnetic field distribution and also power loss. The designer will see and learn what is needed to do to reduce any hot spots. Such two-way coupling helps engineers understand how to properly design and improve a complex cooling system. You have seen the process to couple ANSYS Maxwell to ANSYS Fluent for a combined electrical and CFD thermal analysis. The temperature profile evaluated from Fluent changes the BH characteristics of the interior permanent magnet motor based on the thermal coefficients defined in Maxwell. The main advantage of using CFD simulation is that the heat transfer coefficients are automatically calculated and updated based on fluid dynamics solution. This method provides a more accurate solution for rotating machine design. Thanks for watching.